So we are axe throwing. If you have been one of the chop in the NRL, who would it be? Jimmy Maloney, he needs to get the chop. What about Cameron Smith? What's he like as a bloke? Yeah, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> what's, what's he like as a bloke? No, he's good. <laughs> he's you think good. he'll play? Do you think you'll retire before he does? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on. Hey. You know what? He's I'm gonna give you before. I'm gonna give you this cam because you backed yourself and you said, I'll win this. Oh, oh, God. oh five. Eleven. Mate, you need to do something. Oh, oh, go away. Shit. All right, Cam, now you won the uh, challenge. Congratulations. Well, thanks, mate. Now this is an individual game. Uh, this is called the Axe of Truth. Subconsciously, the axe never lies. So depending on where the axe hits and which personality it hits, we sort of know the way you think oh, about hurry it. hurry up. <laughs> First one and go. Oh! <laughs> Hang on! Axe of truth! No! <laughs> That's perfect! It's got him right in the eye. Number two, Cam. Oh! He gave him a haircut. Oh, Johnny Chimpa. Give him a little haircut. Nah, you've, you've, you've scalped him. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. Axe of truth. What? Did you mention him earlier? He did mention him yeah, earlier. He did mention him earlier. He got the chop. Did you get the chop? Oh. Look at that. This is the last one. Three, two, one. Turn and throw. Oh! Hey! Hey, he got Smithy? Give me the captaincy, Smithy. <laughs> got him. Yeah, he's got him. 